supramital period, it is the period of uh, two, three hours uh, between somatic death and molecular death. What happens after somatic death? Immediately after somatic death, all the cells of the body don't die. Most of the cells of the body are still alive and even capable of movement. That is fibroblast, glucoside, muscles. The body cells live on their residual oxygen for a variable time after the circulation has stopped. As the blood supply stops, blood cells do not get oxygen and nutrition even there is no neurohormonal control. Consequently, the oxygen reserve in the, in, in the cell gets depleted and the cell began to die. Some cells die earlier and some cells take more time to die. The body cells continue to die for 2-3 hours and at the end of the 2-3 hours almost all cells of the body die. When all body cells die it is known as a molecular death. Since a molecular death takes 2-3 hours to occur, we said that a person dies in bits and pieces. Death of organ that is brain is the first organ to die within 5 minutes. Followed by peripheral nerve, 5 minutes, liver, 15 minutes, kidney, 45 minutes, heart, 1 hour, cornea, 6 hour, skin, 24 hour, bone, 48 hour, blood vessels, 72 hour. For the purpose of the transplantation, these organs should be removed from the donor with such a specified type. Next is Supravital metabolism. <clears throat> metabolism continues initially but slows down gradually in the liver and the muscles. Supravital cellular movements. Bubble continues peristaltic movement. Syria continue their movement. Spermatosova remain mortal in epididymis. WBC retain their phagocytic movement, supravital reaction. During supravital period, the biological properties of the components may still be demonstrable. This includes excitability of muscles to different stimuli, for example, mechanical, electrical, thermal, or pharmacological stimuli. Mechanical stimuli of the skeletal muscle. Mechanical stimuli of the skeletal muscle. That is Sasko phenomenon. After somatic death, the muscles are still alive. They respond to respond respond with a contract to various stimuli, for example, mechanical, electrical, thermal, or pharmacological. Sasko phenomenon is related with the effect of mechanical stimuli on the muscle contraction. This is the mechanical excitability of the skeletal muscle in the very early post-mortem interval. After somatic death, is a, if a mechanical stimuli is a, given to the tendon of a muscle, the whole muscles contract. This phenomenon seems to be a propagated excitation of the muscle fiber, for example. And lower, and lower third of the thigh a four to five finger breadth above the patella over ten of the quadriceps for more muscle is hit by a hard blend object the whole muscle contract and it can be observed by upward movement of the patella there are other part of the body also where sarsco phenomenon can be observed for example face face forearms hand leg Sasko himself gave, gave eight methods of examining the mechanical excitability of skeletal muscle at different regions of the body. This phenomenon can be usually seen up to 1.5 to 2.5 over maximum up to 4 over after somatic death. So it is useful in estimating time since death. This phenomenon indicates that the corpus is in molecular phase of death and thus organ and uh, tissues can be harvested for uh, organ transplantation. Localize uh, idiomuscular contraction of idiomuscular part in a muscle 
biceps brachii is hit by a blunt of hard object at a right angle. Local bulging muscle is observed only at the site of the phenomenon. Electrical excitability of the skeletal muscle on the face can be observed for few hours after death. Pharmacological excitability Pharmacological excitability of iris of IIA Corneal reflex and pupillary reflex to light disappear at the time of death. But the pupils respond to appropriate pharmacological stimuli. For example, atropin causes a dilatation of pupil up to 4 hours after death. Isostigmine also known as a SRN causes contraction of pupil sorry, up to 1 hour after death. Focal muscular twitching. How to determine molecular death? Absence of supravital reaction indicates the molecular death. Okay. And uh, the legal aspects uh, is uh, that is uh, during supravital period, organs and tissues can be harvested for uh, transplantation as the provision of this uh, transplantation of a human organs and tissue act. Thank you.